Hey everyone, so glad to see so many of you are enjoying this playthrough. You're about to watch chapter 4, but I'm about to record chapter 7, so it's almost time to start coming up with forge names. This game allows me to forge one weapon every chapter with a custom name. And instead of trying to come up with funny names on the spot, I've decided to ask my dear Patreons on Patreon to come up with them instead. My Patreons make sure I can make my content available to everyone for free, so this is my way of thanking them. So if you're already a Patreon and you haven't submitted a Forge name yet, or you're not and you would like to support me and you can afford to do so, you can find the link in the description, or at the end of the video. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Path of Ignorance. I am Mecha, and I'm joined once again by my fellow ignorant fellow, Raisins. How's it going? You're not allowed to ask, you're not allowed to ask me that. Oh, that's true. I'm not allowed to ask. Yeah, you can't check my stats. I, I, just, have to, I just have to assume <laughs> that you're fine at this point. It's That's right. Way. Just assume I'm fine. You sent me into a video. I got like one HP actually. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> one HP. Imagine that. All right. We ha we get the legal sword here. So now we can uh, guess how much damage Ike is going to do to an armor knight or a cavalier with uh, slightly more varying ranges. And uh, I think here is when they find like Alincia side of the road and then these guys come in and like, hello, we're here to pick her up. And Ike's like, no, we're going to do that. So we have to go through these. And uh, I don't know about you, Raisins, but my usual approach is Titania forward and everyone else run back because everything else takes like five years to do. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, sometimes I have Gatry do it just for fun, you know, but... Yeah. My issue with Gatry no, is that the, the, the battlefield is really small, right? So a couple of these guys will like clump to Gatry and then they see like Riz, Soren, etc. And then you get in trouble. Cause... Oh, that's just, that's, that's just extra, you know? Yeah. Like... It, it would be helpful to get some XP, but it's really hard to like feed them kill after kill here. It's like, you, you get like one or two to get three, and then maybe you can raise like Ike or, uh, yeah, pretty much just Ike, because the rest is not much of I mean, it's training Soren, but we can get into that when he's here. Soren is a special case when it comes to training. Uh, but oh, for yeah. now, I don't think we have a whole lot of like training or equipped to do. I don't know why he hasn't got this equipped. Uh, in fact, maybe you should have Boyd's little fighter band for that extra juicy strength that he's been missing a couple times. Yeah, find the fighter band. Either the fighter band or the paladin band are usually the best ones. Yeah. And the other ones often just sell. I usually just keep one for like Bexp. I'm trying to remember if like if there's a lot of droppable things. I should maybe trade away one of Botania's axes as well. I'm not sure about that mm. one. Let's trade away just the iron axe, I guess. I think there was like multiple drop weapons here, but I'm not entirely sure, so we'll see. And I could use one more of all, I think. Just in case he gets in trouble. I want to give Reese an escape route somewhere. Okay, this this will have to do, I think. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. It shouldn't matter much, but I've had so many times where I blundered Riz here, I don't want to have it happening. I don't want my HP checker to get injured. We're not shoving shit on 500 times, or? <laughs> I, uh, I'm afraid not. Actually, maybe, maybe Gatry should be more forward. That's the last thing I'll change. Trust me. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, here it goes. Let's roll. Okay, so let's... There's, I think there's too many enemies for Titania to uh, kill with one two range alone. So I think we start out with the Steel Axe, we take out anything that's one range, and the next turn we kill everything with two range. And everyone else kind of hides for a bit. That should be the most painless oh. transition here, I think. Is that Take you... out something with one range, or... Uh, what was it the other way around? Like, you take out an Archer, and then move back. I think... Uh, usually I think my move is, like, here and take out the Archer. Uh, even though it does zero damage. What we could do is like take on an enemy that's closer to the main group so that they have more space to walk around. Like, we can kill this this guy, mm -hmm. and then they only have to fight the Myrmidon. I think that's like a reasonable thing to do. So, because like, who are the closest people here? It's that guy. Yeah, it's these two guys at the bottom are. Right. Yeah. Oh. It's like we could just walk up here with the rest. Like we we can block here with uh, with Gachi, say, mm -hmm. and maybe here. Uh, let me see. That's a Shinon that goes all the way. Actually, let me let me do the the frail ones right first. So we got him, move Riss away. He's safe. Yeah, and we don't want to take advantage of Shinon's provoke or not, or just uh, maybe. Oh, I have an idea here. We can uh, we can shove Riss to make space for Soren to go into the corner. Ooh. And then he's safe. okay. I like that. There we go. Uh, we can even put Gatry like here. Let me see if this works for the ranges, right? Okay, it doesn't work because he goes through the forest. Okay, so we have to shove him away with Ike or Shinon then. Because, uh, I guess we should take a look at Soren and the reason why I'm, why I'm making all these shoves to make him safe, because that's what he is. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's because of these stats. It's because of the way he is built. He is built differently from Gatri. He's the most different unit from Gatri that you can possibly Not in a good imagine. Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess mobility wise, he's the same, but when it comes to strength and defense and HP, he's got a lot less of those. Uh, he's a little faster, a little more magically adept. Uh, later on, he grows into like a really fast, really powerful Sage that just two shots everything with one to range and can use stats, which is very good. But to get there, you have to get through Soren's very rough early game where he has no durability to speak of. He doesn't get o code by enemies, quite like in some other more difficult games. But he dies in two hits, it's pretty much anything. I don't think there's much that doubles him, uh, but he does get weighed down by wind by one point right now. And if you get lucky, he grows strength somewhere up to 5% of his. It won't get weighed down anymore, but... Usually he gets weighed down a little bit by Tome, so his, his speed start isn't the best. It's not like Boyd where he grows out of it, it takes a while. Uh, but once his speed catches on, his magic catches on, and he can maybe give him vantage to complement his adaptability, uh, his avoid tank becomes reliable. He has an Ike support uh, between his Thunder affinity, or uh, between Soren's Dark affinity and Ike's Earth affinity, they get a lot of avoid. So in that way, Soren becomes more reliable, and at some point can probably survive enemy phases. But right now, Soren is a liability, and I am very afraid to train Soren in this because I find his damage output is pretty unpredictable. I can just remember that he has 8 attack, I guess, and I just kind of have to guess how much res an enemy has, and then hopefully I can feed him kills. But I have to pay very close attention to like how much I weaken an enemy, because normally it's like, okay, I hit a guy with Gatri, he's gonna take like uh, maybe all but 6 damage from his HP. But if I don't remember exactly how much it is, there's a chance Soren won't get the kill. And feeding kills to feral units, I think, will be much harder in this playthrough than the other. I am, I'm, I think. Training Storm will be very hard. I might make a bit of an attempt, but I used some last playthroughs. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Maybe I'll try Ileana instead, who's a mage who joins later. Uh, but Storm seems very tough to train in this. What do you think? I, I would definitely agree. There are times when I'm like, there, there are times when I'm playing hard mode or playing maniac mode, and I'm like, all right, Soren's got this. And I go, and the forecast is like three damage. I'm like, crap. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, never mind. This doesn't work. So, and then you, then you just adapt them anyway. No, yeah. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> but I, I do definitely think his his training is just a really awkward part. Uh, partially because wind is uh, not the most amazing tome. Like the the tomes and Tellius first suffer. They're, they're I would say they're kind of hit and miss. But wind is like really just all hit and not not in that way. God damn it. <laughs> but um, they, they they definitely all have low might. Even the best one in this game, Thunder, still has pretty low might if I recall. Yeah. Furthermore, it's it's actually quite a while until you get another one, and so there, like there's a limit to how much you can train Soren in the early game, because uh, I find that if you like if you really go hard with it, this wind tome will, will actually just break. Yes. Uh, but you're gonna run out, and it's a long time until the next one. So, I like, yeah. but but you can't go too crazy training Soren is what I'm trying to say. You're actually just gonna run out of wind tome. Uh, probably about two thirds of the uses are gonna be spent just like failing to kill them or the first attack you do because the second one doubles and kills them like, like you're, you're actually gonna run out of, you're, you're gonna run out of gas pretty quick on Soren uh, I haven't spoken about his late game and his late game is like actually pretty good I, I find I find mages to be just actually quite nice in path of radiance this ignoring the JP like uh, crit underflow crit underflow glitch like just in just in general uh, Mages and Path of Radiance tend to have good attack with Siege Tomes. Uh, they tend to just have good attack in general. Like, most enemies have pretty low res. This isn't Radiant Dawn yet. So overall, I really like Soren. I just think that, again, if you can get past this kind of awkward early training phase where you're just really limited on what you can do and how much damage you can do, I, I actually find, if anything, it's more important to get lucky magic level ups than it is to get lucky strength or speed level ups. Because uh, that actually, like, lets you go further and do more with Soren. Like, d doubling, I think, actually just exacerbates his problems in the early game. Yeah. And enemies are quite bulky, so the extra might that Soren brings to the table is actually quite big in some instances. Like enemy tigers in the late game, for example, is very bulky. Uh, enemy generals oh, yeah. as well. Uh, mm -hmm. especially, because, especially because effective weapons in this game are either limited or uh, just not around at all sometimes. And they have double might when they do, so... Yeah, there's, there's definitely uses for Soren late game as well. And I agree with the Siege Tomes, because all the Siege Tomes are C rank, and I think Soren gets... Up, he gets, I think it's some rank bonuses, or you can get him there fairly easily. I remember him getting to Meteor rank or Bolting rank, one of the two, with just a little bit of focus, and those can be very helpful as well. So, yeah, definitely high utility once he gets there, but the rocky start, it's going to make training tough. It's going to make training tough, but maybe I'll be able to get it done. Um, so I can't... I think both Shinon and Ike are going to have to end up in any range regardless of what I do here, because there's just no space for them both. 
So I think we'll have to be okay with that. And just kind of shove and hope, I guess. I think so. I mean, they're probably going to go for Shinon because Provoke. Yes, but... that's what I think too. So what we'll probably want is for Aika Shinon to be in a position where we can kind of work from there. Uh, this one more round shouldn't be a problem. We just take out this this soldier so that he doesn't like hit Gatry. Because if they have to deal with a and with the soldier, I think that might be too much for these little scrubs out here. Uh, so let's kill the soldier and uh, bait the rest towards Titania and see how that goes. There you go. And, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> Titania, don't get started already. <laughs> it's turn one. We're losing too much HP. Uh. Oh. Uh. 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 Okay, one, two, three, uh, four, five. Like, he reaches me anyway. Like you could be, you could be a little bit conservative with Titania because it's put in range of ten enemies rather than twenty, right? There you go. Probably. I think this will do. This is just uh. What, what is Titania? It, it'll dies? be for content. <laughs> yeah, I'll watch Titania die. It'll be for content, right? Yes, for content. There you go. Okay, goes for. I think she's on. I think someone in the comment section. And by the way, this is the first episode that we're recording uh, since uploading yes. episode one and seeing your guys' Good comments. Point. So, uh, like. De definitely really thrilled to hear you guys are enjoying the run idea. So, but I think there's a couple people who are like, oh, are you going to make the game hard? I don't know, this might do it. But that or Titania gets a bunch of XP and levels up, and the run becomes easy. So. It is the early game, this is the part I've played them. Calm down, stop hitting Titania, you can't just make content like that. This is not now I'm regretting the way that choice. content goes. How, how many more hits will it take? D stop! Stop! Uh, stop, she, she should have okay avoid against these guys. I don't remember her getting hit this much before. That's right. I it's think like, I was thinking like, most like five soldiers, hits. six soldiers yeah. that we're facing. I know the arcs do like it's, nothing. Okay, this okay, guy is zero. That, that's a good. That's a good omen. Yes. Did that first guy have like a steel lance or something? Or? That's what I'm there's thinking. There's no way. There, there's no way enemy stat variation is that high in this game. There's no way steel lances can hit Titania. That's just not how it goes. Okay. Well, this is working out at least. Okay. There's, at this point, there should be no way she dies. Yeah, I think we have it in the bag. Why did they make it so scary? It was like only like one fighter, thankfully. Oof. I don't remember any horse slaying effective weapons, but if they're around, like I don't remember. Don't remember any layers? No, no layers okay. here. Only straight up content. Okay, I think we're in the clear. Yeah. So two. We even have phones on her. We can like switch to hand axe, phone up, go from there. And there's no reinforcements in this map as far as I recall, so this should be good from here. Yeah, what you see is what you get. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we should be fine. All right, we got. I think we got S rank access. I can't check anymore, but I think we got. We got. I think we got S rank access there. Okay, well, let's just equip the S rank axe and check. Yeah. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> that is one way you can check for sure. I think um, there's no S rank bonus in this game, so there's no five percent extra hit or crit here. Like in GBA. yeah, no, nothing like that. No DS emblem, kind of boost eater. Okay, well, I'm actually pretty happy with the position here. Turns out putting Titania in your enemies was a was a foolproof way to tackle this. There we go. I think this unit's kind of good, Mecha. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I think they I think they uh, they never fall off ever. Probably. No, right. they definitely did fall off now. So. Uh -huh. All right. So if we can take care of this guy this turn, then I think it's safe to bait like one or two archers over to to play with while we wrap up this bit. I know he has a range weapon. He likes to be a bit of a pain about it. Um, so. Let's see, let's say we want to bait over this guy. We probably want to go like Falm Hand Axe while we're in range of this guy, like at the edge. So maybe the Healing Bush over here? Maybe we just bunga all the way in there, second time, you know? Yeah. You know, first time wasn't exciting enough. That's right. We can so. do it again. We never learn. Exactly. Okay, then we're going to make sure that this guy cannot reach, but this guy can if we are able to. Like, um, maybe. Uh, who's gonna bait that guy over then? Mm -hmm. Gatry will be. So, mm -hmm. because we're in range of the boss and have a hand axe equipped, uh, th this map is kill boss. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah. So, is. I think we can bait over all three archers and just, you know, kill kill whatever we're able to kill. Right? Like, who knows? Maybe we get a crit. Maybe something like it. Actually, I don't know. I think Ike getting a double crit like still won't kill an archer at this point. <laughs> oh, um, right. Okay, how about I just so, save this memory now for this and see how much he has left afterwards. Okay, that's gonna be a lot. <laughs> Actually, I think Sora might be able to kill from here. Ooh. I mean, six, well, six HP. You say that, but... Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. The does he have three does, or more res? Yeah, that's that's the question we have to ask ourselves, isn't it? Uh, yeah, let's do it further. Actually, sure. wait. I think Shinon going into that big massive units is 
Actually, not a bad idea, because I'll chip them all down. And oh. then we could use that. I, mean, I don't know if he kills with iron. He shouldn't kill with iron bow, right? Okay. You're with iron, you're right. with iron, he shouldn't. Maybe he'll okay. crit one of them, but you know. Well, we'll see that, if that... we'll see if we get this one, or he just like fails to kill them in the depths, maybe. Also a possibility. Yeah. That's the Jagan text. Okay, there okay. we go. We got it the first time. All right, twenty-five XP. Oh, Never mind, I'm way off. Just a little bit off, just a little bit. It's he's not. He's base, he's base level. He's, he's got some time to grow. All right, we can we can try provoke shows. Yeah, sure. This seems good. I mean, worst case, it's a kill for every one of these units. Uh, let's go and uh, use our health checker here. Everyone seems fine. Yeah, everyone seems fine. Let's go in. All right. I'm pretty confident, and not just because this was my idea. <laughs> You've never done this before, but Shinon. Oh, it seems to work like a charm. I don't know. For some reason, I remember him one running these guys. Even though he shouldn't. Maybe this was just me using a steel bow. Let's see. Nine damage? Yeah, he kills here. Oof. That's racist. I didn't mean to. Sorry. If there's any, like, archer people in the chat, I didn't mean it. Although maybe you guys like Shinon. Who knows? Maybe we'll train Shinon at the end. I don't know. Or maybe this will live? Because he did 10, right? I think so. I'll do 11 this oh, time. Let's find okay. out. Oh, yeah. I think we get this. Oh, Shinon. No. Don't do No, no, no. <laughs> No, I will not give any kills to this pup, Ike. Uh, no, Ike deserves nothing. We have nothing. one left, we have one left. Maybe this right, one. 21 HP? Nope, 19. Right, no, there's... Oh, not None even None said close. no. Wait, he might have rolled high on defense. No, it doesn't matter. No, doesn't matter. <laughs> Shinon just takes the kills anyway. <laughs> well, I liked your plan, I, but Shinon did not. I'm sorry. I guess... Yeah, I guess not. I wonder if we had, like, maybe... Moved Riss down and then rescued Riss to like sandbag him down. I don't know. Oh, that's smart, I guess. I don't know. I think it was fair assumption that he wouldn't one round kill. Oh, she's only barely killing these. I think the other archers will Ooh. die though. Archers are very, very bad. There you go. Oh, and if an enemy attacks in melee, her axe like magically changes from a hand axe to like a melee weapon. Oh, yeah, it does. Is it, look at this one and is then it just Is it Morbin? Whoosh. Yeah, yeah, it's just it, Morbin. It morbs. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a the Vaughn. Maybe that's the droppable I remember. Imagine. Yeah. You don't watch out, he's gonna go uh, Super Saiyan. This, I think, is healing AI for him. This range? I think so. It's uh, sub 50, as they would say. Ooh. Okay, alright, okay, alright. Okay, all right. well, yeah, yeah this it's guy's dead. Jagan. Sure. I was gonna go with a more like, but I can't even come up with an unfunny unlike. Or, or yeah, more like. An, an unfunny unlike. Yeah. There are no unfunny unlikes. There are funny dislikes, I guess. There are funny dislikes. Okay. What, what, what would be a funny dislike? Maybe if you have like a quirky username? Yeah. Alright, let's see here. So you can obviously definitely feed it to Tania. I'm tempted to throw in like a Shidan somewhere here or like a... Like somehow... Because mm -hmm. I didn't do anything with Ike or Soren really. I, I killed one guy with Soren. I feel kind of bad for all the Soren oh, fans I mean, that's... in chat. Uh, that's basically the Soren experience, right? I think the Soren fans are happy. Mm -hmm. so. That's all the Soren experience you're gonna get. Um, get some health check XP, maybe. There you go. We should have checked the enemy health. <laughs> Nineteen. What, what were we thinking? <laughs> all right. Do I just kill the boss then? Just uh, just wrap it up quick. Uh, oh, wow. Weird out my steel axe to one mm, use. We, we could wrap up the steel axe. What, make it into a nice, nice present? Um, there you go. Oh, true, yeah. What will the boss do with I think he just runs like up, right? Can you check the Vex limit? I think this is turn think so. three. Turn three? I want to be uh, greedy here. Let's, let's, let's try it, let's try it. Well, here's the thing though. If we give the boss kill to like another unit... Oh, then again, you, you're pretty fine with giving boss boss kills to like Titania anyway. I am fine with I, it. I'm just wondering if I can give it to... I guess Ike is that great of a target anyway. The best target will be Sorin, but he's so hard to feed the boss. Mm -hmm. He probably gets Oko by that javelin or something. Uh, probably. All right, it's three. It's, um... Max turns four. Uh, that's not going to work for any of these kills, unfortunately. We're currently on three. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So, like, the boss will heal this turn after weaken him and then kill him immediately, basically. That's the only way I'm going to feed it. Hear me out, hear me out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go over to the right. We got Gaytree. Yeah. We got Gaytree, Ike, and uh, Riss. Yeah. Uh, let's feed it Let's feed it to Shinon, actually. <laughs> feed the boss to Shinon, but he's in healing AI. That's fine. All right, Shinon, come over here. You can, you can make it over there. Yeah. Okay, and then we just kill the Merm right now, because the I boss so. is like kind of healing AI anyway. 
That's right. Th this is the run. This is the run where we train Shinon for late game. Okay. Mecha. All right. I'm, I'm down. I'm down. I'm gonna provoke. Uh, I, I should have done the hand axe actually, but that's okay. Maybe he will still go for Shinon. I will put the rest closer just in case they can help help shove Shinon or something. I think that think makes we sense. We got this. Shove Shinon. We got this. Shove for Shinon. Gotta make gotta make content. Okay. Alright team, we gotta... This is Shinon's intervention. Mm -hmm. He's too mean, so we're gonna be nice to him. And maybe oh double cure him. God. You just had to do that, didn't you? You just had to. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Alright. He chooses murder. <laughs> he chooses... I mean, it's Shinon. How can you resist? Okay, now the oh, question true. is... He does have... Can Shinon weaken this guy? <laughs> uh... Oh, will kill him with crit. Well, he, he doesn't have two range equipped, so Soren can check Oh, he uses Steel Lance? Just now? Yeah. Yeah, he's got the seal lance equipped. If he had the javelin, he'd like be holding his lance over his shoulder. Oh, I'll, I'll take your word for it. All right, let's see if Soren can chip, and if not, he'll definitely kill. I guess. Yeah, this is this is not a prank. I swear. Not a prank. All right, not a prank. Let's see it. It's, it's no, you deal. pranked me. What? <laughs> you have pranked me. Oh, adept anyway. How much damage? Okay. Oh, all right. Okay, bro, your prank failed. Your prank backfired. Okay. Now I got a boss on Soren. Okay. I I I could have swore. You even like mentioned that like the, the Titania's axe changed too, right? So yeah. He, his generals, reverse like, change. Definitely change. His reverse change. Yeah. There you go. He pretended it was. He pranked us. The boss pranked us by holding a different weapon. I, he was like, I, 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 look, "Don't worry, I got a steel lance." He was like, "No, I have a javelin." You fool. Mecca, you gotta believe me. Okay, I did not just try to kill Soren. I did earnestly believe that he had a steel lance equipped. I think it's the generals that hold it over their shoulder like that. You gotta believe me. I'm Think not about it. I've never that. seen an enemy hold a javelin over their shoulders. I've been gaslit. Never okay. Okay. No. no. I believe you. I believe you. But <laughs> it would have been a brilliant sabotage. We're, we're gonna get to. We're gonna promote like Gaytree or get Tyrannia or something. There's spoiler alert. Tyrannia's in this game. and equip a javelin, and I'll be right. Guys, <laughs> timestamp time this moment. <laughs> This boss will when be. When we get to Tarde, we're we'll checking. This boss will be the only exception to the rule. He was made to prank Soren. That's right. Oh wait, they found other Sanders now. Oh they wow, we did 300 turns this time. Mm -hmm. We were way faster. We were supposed to keep a straight record of 180s. Oh, true. What have we done? We're doing so. I I should have actually known. But what would we have to do to do that? Uh. <laughs> we would have had to do. What the heck is uh 12 plus four? 21? Oh, 17 turns. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That, that's it. That's 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 yeah. the episode. <laughs> well played. GG. That, See you next time. GG. What's the, what's the next time. one? What's the next one? It's the Venom uh, one? Chapter 5. Bro, I hate you so much. <laughs>